Yo, 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 this is Mikey here. Um, doing a little bit for Corona House. And uh, first of all, I just wanna say I'm doing a sort of a new brand of comedy. You've heard of stand-up comedy. Uh, I do sit-down comedy, cause why stand up when you can sit down? Speaking of standing up, where does the lap go when you stand up, right? It's like, it's here when I'm sitting, but then I stand up and the lap is gone. Where does it go? Nobody knows, nobody knows. I was on the phone with my mom the other day and she yells, vaccine! So I ran to the TV to turn on the news because I figured they had figured out the cure for the coronavirus, uh, but it was just my aunt vaccine FaceTiming in from Duluth. So that was cool. Got a, uh, gonna do a quick bleach shot, bro. Got your bleach, do a shot real quick. Yo, here's. There's a disinfecting. Oh, that's tough. That's tough. Um, you know, they keep telling you to do this and that. Wear your masks. You know, stay away from people. Um, I hope, for my sake, that they find some sort of correlation between a cure and eating 24 craft singles in a single day. Uh, because that's kind of what I've been doing. Plus my hands are so raw from washing them. It's like Canada dry hand rail in here, if you know what I mean. Um, I keep calling the, they were calling the virus the, uh, the Kung flu, which I find completely offensive. As we all know, it should be called the Jiu Jitsu flu. Um, I think that's, that's a more apropos name for it. Uh, you know, but this whole thing is, totally changed my life. And by my life, I mean my life now. And by my life, I mean Netflix. A lot of good stuff on Netflix now that we can tune into, which is great. Uh, I will say the one thing, uh, we're not working now, so bills are tough, but the one thing I am saving a lot of money on is uh, soap. All right, guys, well, that's my time. Uh, thanks for having me in Corona House. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Later. So yeah, I got my MGWB, I'm following Proto, and I'm keeping my jeans high and tight, baby. Here I go, brother. Toby. Toby. All right, Toby, here I come, brother. You better get your bags packed, because I'm more nuts than a chimera with three dicks. Let's rock and roll, baby. All right, I'm coming in. Here I go. <laughs> Shall we? Good tea, buddy. Come on, brother, meet at evac. Wings up, brother. Light the tires, kick the fire. It's time to rock and roll, baby. Where you at? Toby? Toby, man, what the fuck? Toby? Oh, 
just up to me now. Lobo came back, <laughs> thank God, because I was getting really lonely. Squish is great company, you know, we're used to each other, but it was really nice having another dynamic. But while he was gone, because he was gone for ages, I just kind of thought I'd Google Toby, because I've never seen him before, but he sounded super cute. Um, and I did. Nobody's over there. He wasn't there. I didn't think so. Lobo, he never left. The fuck do you mean he never left? No, bro, what's good, my dude? It's Toby D. Hope you're enjoying Down Under, brother. Down, down Under. Whatever those chicks say, man. That shit's so. It's pretty cute, but they talk weird as shit, man. Um, anyways, once your ass is out of quarantine, and you come back to stay with me, unfortunately, because of my bipolar disorder and a pre-existing heart condition, I must be in the most offensive and prudent category. Yeah, so when you come back, I want you to take a look at my uh, strict lie white phones, lie white keys, lie white wallet, wash hands, dry hands, dry phone keys, wallet procedure that I observe every time I walk into the place from the outside world. Also, anything brought in from the outside world must be lie wiped down in the staging area that I set up. Um, it's a little annoying at first, but it becomes a thing of zen after you get used to it. Uh, don't reuse glasses or silverware. Straight into the washer, preferably emptied by someone wearing plastic gloves, which are located by at all times. If you need to use a door handle in the home prior to cleaning procedures, please use a tissue due to toilet paper shortages and down to eight rolls. If you uh, are lonely and you need a spunk, spunk on your chest, clean it off with a sock. I know you're known for carrying a fat load. Um, you know, just be real, real, uh, I don't know, what's the word? Conservative with your use of my TP, okay? Oh yeah, you are welcome to any and all food in the fridge. Just be careful of cross-contamination. Same thing with water. If you sneeze, touch your eyes, or sweat, there are three sinks at your disposal and live pumps located at each one. Oh, one last thing. We've got uh, air purifiers in every bedroom. we got air purifiers in each and every bedroom. Yes, we got air purifiers in every bedroom to kill any and all airborne bacteria. So that's pretty much it, man. Um, hey, it's gonna be fun. It's a lot less to do than it is to watch, all right, man? I can't wait to see you. I miss you, bro. Or, you know, whatever. Do your thing if that's what you wanna do. God damn, man. I'm looking good as shit right now. And all of his social media, he's in LA, which means that he never came here. So then I started digging, and he was never gonna come here because he has some, like, health issue or something. So whoever's done this to Lobo knew that. So whoever COVID's been talking about isn't Toby Dollars. The fuck is this shit? I, I don't know. I think someone's been catfishing you. Well, like something, right COVID? I think it's about time we figure out exactly what the fuck this COVID motherfucker is. Because we got a haunting on our hands. Wait. What? It's the only logical explanation, babe. So I guess I'm back. I'm looking like a fucking ghost. So what, you think you're bad? I'll tell you what, ghost. You have to wake up pretty fucking early in the morning if you think you wake up before me, pal. I'm fucking watching you. So now we have a mystery, which is great because I love mysteries. Like in the kitchen when you're trying to cook something and you don't have an ingredient, so then you have to substitute. I'm really good at that. So I think we're gonna get to the bottom of it.
Chris is wearing red today. Mm, I love you. You're gonna fuck you. Um, because I've got my period. She wears red in solidarity with mine. Mm, bleeding puss. It's like a butcher's shop down there. Mm. So, because it's isolation life, Doris and I have made a pack. Oh my god, I could just do you up the ass. I love you. Um, because I'm not getting any. Doris can't get any. It's only fair. And like, it kind of sucks because I need finger bangs for my mental health. Do you know what I mean? And I need like clitoris burn. Anyway, Doris, I swear I'm gonna strangle you. I'm gonna skin you and put you in a pie. So much I love you. So, like I said, um, Doris and I made a sex pact because I'm not getting any, she's not getting any. So later we're gonna have a bonfire and we're gonna burn all the things that she likes to dry hump. Like, yeah, that's right. The Paddington bear blanket is going.